Okay, so we're starting a new unit on negative numbers. We got a few vocabulary terms we're going to learn here. First is opposites. So opposites are the positive and negatives of a number. For example, 3 and negative 3 are opposites. So if I say what is the opposite of 3, it would be negative 3. If I said what is the opposite of negative 3, it would be 3. Next we have definition we have is integers. Integers is the set of whole numbers and their opposite. So if you remember, whole numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, forever and ever and ever. So it says the set of whole numbers and their opposite. So integers not only includes all the numbers we, you know, the numbers we learned as kindergartners, but it also includes the negatives as well. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on this way. So integers, when a lot of people hear the word integers, they think negative numbers. Now, integers are not just negative numbers. It's all the negative numbers and positive numbers. But integers don't include decimals or fractions. So it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. It doesn't include like 2.6 or 1 third or negative 3 fourths. It doesn't include fractions or decimals. Integers are just whole numbers and their opposite. And finally, the other thing we're going to learn today is something called absolute value. Absolute value is a number's distance from zero. So what that means is if you could picture like a number on a number line, how far is it from zero? And the most important thing to remember about absolute value is absolute value is always positive. And you might ask, why would it always be positive? How can a number's distance from zero always be positive? Because a distance is always positive. Distance is not something that can be negative. You know, if you're 10 feet away from your friend, you know, if uh, I'm 10 feet away from you, you, you wouldn't say, oh, well, that means you're negative 10 feet away from me. No, you would say we're 10 feet apart. It doesn't matter the order. Distance is never negative. Distance is always positive. So absolute value is always positive. And we'll see a little bit more of that as we go through the lesson. So first, I just want to just kind of give you a visual of negative numbers do exist. They are things we deal with. Here's a number line that has negatives and positives on it. And you can see there are two different cities' temperatures are on the number line. The city in temperature N is 2 degrees. You can see there is a dot at 2. But city in temperature M is negative 5 degrees. And there's a, there's a dot on negative 5. So that's a, just a visual example of negative numbers that you know, exist. So temperature is one example. So we'll start with absolute value, though. So we're going to start with absolute value. Here. So you might be like, what are those lines? So when you see lines in a, something inside those lines, that means absolute value. So this first question, if I were to read it, it is the absolute value of negative 4. And that's what that means, the absolute value of negative 4. Those two lines, those two vertical lines, mean absolute value. So the absolute value of negative 4, remember, we said absolute value is always positive. So what's inside the absolute value symbols is a negative number. But to calculate the absolute value, we make it positive. So the absolute value of negative 4 is 4. Now, let's look at the next one, the absolute value of 4. Now, a lot of you might be thinking, oh, well, it's negative 4. No, because absolute value is always positive. So if we already have a positive number in there, it stays positive. The absolute value of 4 is 4. When you're doing an absolute value question, your answer must be positive. It cannot be negative. So let's look at our next one, the absolute value of negative 0 0.33. That's going to be 0 0.33 because absolute value has to be positive. So the negative sign goes away. Well, the next one, the absolute value of 16 is going to be 16 because it's positive. The absolute value of 3 fourths is 3 fourths. It stays positive. 19.4 will stay 19.4. The absolute value of 3,203 will be 3,203. The absolute value of negative 4,966, well, it's going to be positive. So it's going to be positive 4,966. Notice all those questions, they're all positive. They're all positive. All right, now let's compare some negative numbers using less than, greater than, or equal symbols. And I'm up there I put, if you've forgotten, because I know some people struggle with uh, what symbol means what, you can see I have the less than and greater than symbols marked. 
So let's look at our first one here. Zero is being compared to negative four. So basically what you're trying to find out is zero more than negative four or less than negative four? Well, zero is greater than negative four. If you get yourself confused, think in terms of temperature. Is zero degrees warmer than negative four degrees? Yeah, it is. So that means it's going to be greater. Zero is greater than negative four. So let's look at our next one. Negative, the absolute value of negative two and three. So we're comparing the absolute value of negative two and three. First thing we have to do is we gotta figure out the absolute value of negative two. The absolute value of negative two is two. So this is really comparing two and three. And we know two is less than three, so the absolute value of negative two is less than three. What about 22 and the absolute value of 22? Well, we know the absolute value of, so this would be comparing 22 and the absolute value of 22 is 22, this is positive. They're equal to each other. So this one is equal. What about the next one? So this is one I see people struggle with. We're comparing negative two and negative three. Is negative two greater less, or less than negative three? Again, think in terms of temperature. Is negative two degrees warmer than negative three degrees or colder than negative three degrees? It's warmer, so that means it's greater. So negative two is greater than negative three. What about negative three and three? Well, negative three degrees would be colder than three degrees, so it would be less than. What about the absolute value of negative four and negative four? So the first thing you gotta do before you do this is figure out the absolute value of negative four. We know that would be four. So this one's comparing four and negative four, and four is greater than negative four. What about six and negative 11? We know six is more than negative 11, so it is greater. And finally, five and zero, this one, I mean, you should know, five is greater than zero. All right, so that's an examples of comparing using greater than, less than, or equal. What about ordering numbers from least to greatest? So we got a whole bunch of numbers and we need to order them from least to greatest. So we know least is gonna be the negative numbers. We're gonna start with the negative numbers because they're the least. And you're gonna find the most least. So in this case, that would be negative 16. That is the lowest number because it's, it's a weird way to think about it, but like the biggest negative number, the furthest negative. So then I find the next furthest negative, which would be negative 11. And then I've got negative four, and I've got negative three. And now I've done all the negative numbers. So then I see there's a zero, so then it would be zero, and now I'll move into the positives. All the positives kind of work the opposite. I start with the lowest positive. So four, um, eight, 13, and 25. So, that lesson was on integers and absolute values, and that is it.